Okay, we're in the middle of a, uh, a flashback. I thought we were going to have the green cutscene issue there, but it's okay. That happened in 10. So this is two days before, I think. Two days before everything kicked off. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Mm. She'll be so mad knowing I hid it from her. Normal clothes. Worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh? Ah, so she's already got her brand at this point, but she's hiding it. The sea who fulfill their focus, they become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue. Oh no, he does not Okay. To do. We'll figure this thing out. You will never be. He's one a of those skater monsters. boy. <laughs> so what will I be? He's like twice her size. I'm, still... I'm worrying about her, him crushing her. You know? Yesterday at the store, I got us something. We don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Stand by you, no matter what happens. I'm yours forever, Sarah. My one, my only. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> she said yes. Yay. <laughs> Oh, if you hadn't spelled flags, that would have been a perfect butt spot one. <laughs> butt flags. Well, we already saw, so this is a flashback. We saw Sarah turn to crystal. So she fulfilled whatever her focus was. We don't know what it is, what it was. You gotta love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me. I wish that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. Um, is it though? Is it? <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Copyright strike incoming. <laughs> Every time. I, I swear they do this on purpose now. Um, <laughs> sing over the top. No, it's fine. Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Because you've got the you've got the sound effects and stuff. I normally the only issue is when I upload the vods to YouTube, it gets flagged. But it normally just means you don't make any ad revenue, which doesn't matter anyway because it's not a partnered channel. So it don't matter. It looks both dangerous and illegal, yeah. Just you and me. Yeah, they should not be doing that. <laughs> having fireworks explode right next to them. The music in this is pretty damn good, I must say.
uh, and that's me mentioning it for bingo. Don't get the sibling dynamic much in Final Fantasy, then you remembered 16. Hmm. Um, you have the brothers in 6 as well. Right, we've woken up. Right. Excellent. Excellent. So it kind of froze this entire lake. Is this for real? Or is this just fantasy? Lake Brescia, but now it's frozen. Guess we fell from up there. Dialogue is really quiet sometimes, isn't it? I don't think I have settings I can change. Help me out here. I mean, did the foul sea do this? How in the world did we end up here? How should I know? Like Russia, no. We're alive. How? Sarah. No one survives a fall from that high. Not without a miracle. Sarah saved us. Sarah, listen. It's all your fault. She got. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh oh. Why did I still? You used magic. You used the power of the sea. The foul sea cursed us. We're the sea now. Yep, we are. The paradigm system. Here we go. Let's let's use the tutorial for this bit. Okay. Basically, we're on the place uh, place called Cocoon, and it's above a planet called Pulse, which is apparently horrible and evil. And the Falsi are these sort of godlike entities um, who are have declared war on Cocoon, and they turn humans into their lassi, their sort of minions. And give them a focus, a mission to, to complete. And if they don't, they turn into these monsters. So, yeah, basically they're enemies of, of Cocoon. Yeah. Okay. You can assign characters the most effective roles for a, for a given situation by changing your party's paradigm. You can switch... Uh, what? I don't... I don't I, <laughs> which button is it? It's not tab. It's L1, okay? It's the left button. Um, each paradigm assigns specific roles to the members of your party. These roles define the spells and abilities available to a party member, as well as their general behavior in combat. If it's easier, think of Commando as Warrior, Ravager as Black Mage. There's a wide variety of paradigms to choose from. Offensive concentrates on dealing damage to enemies, while defensive focuses on party protection and healing. Very important to shift paradigms. Your current paradigm, Relentless Assault, is an offensive paradigm in which multiple attackers coordinate their efforts. The paradigm's two ravagers target whichever enemy the commando attacks, with the goal of quickly filling the enemy's chain gauge in order to stagger it. Ravagers use magic, basically. And then you've got Sentinel and Medic, so Medic is White Mage, basically. Sentinel is sort of tank. One of your party members has just taken damage. Now might be a good time to open your Paradigm deck and shift to a defensive Paradigm like Solidarity. There's also an ATB trick. Um where you, if you time your paradigm shifts right, you can actually fill the gauge straight away. Sh shifting to solidarity will cast snow in the role of a sentinel. Boosting his defense, we can shield others from enemy ire. Neil's role will change to medic, causing her to concentrate on healing wounded allies with the cure spell. 
Once you pass recovery strength, you can shift back. There you go. Ah, didn't get it. Definitely gonna have to get better at that. Oh, I didn't even need to change back. So yeah, this is the really cool system. I actually really like this battle system. The only issue I have with the thing is the main main character game over thing, but yeah. So we are Lassie so now. We really are Lassie. Yep, we are indeed. Oh boy. Looks like it. You too. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Let's see to the last. She got branded on her butt. Why me? I don't even know you. Will you have to go and attack that thing? Just leave me alone. It's your fault. It's your fault, my Are we gonna call that a lewd cam? I think we probably should, shouldn't we? Watch it. Yeah, we'll call that a lewd cam for Bingip, everyone. Sorry. I will allow that. Everything is going to be all right. Cross off Let's lewd cam. Come on. Off we go. And that's given Bray a Bingip. It was butt shot. See, huh? Yep. I think that's the closest we're going to get today. Hey, Rex. Well, we've got sex noises as a uh, as as another square. <laughs> Old mix of normal clothes and FF clothes. Yeah, this has definitely got a bit of a different uh, aesthetic. Oh my. Thanks, Bray. It's a bit of a pain tabbing out of this, okay. so I'll have to do it if we don't know our after focus, a cutscene. How do we complete it? I think I saw it. Did you know? Saw what? That is how a focus comes down, people. The Fauci, they don't spell it out with clear cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, legends and all. You know, legends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you see anything? I, uh, I just, it's all kind of foggy, but I saw this big, I mean, towering. Hello, Queen. Happy <laughs> Friday. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Ragnarok. Where cat? You did it again. Ragnarok. They wanted to be lightning as iconic as cloud. I think they were so, trying to make her like that. Yeah, an ex-soldier. <laughs> That was our focus, but how are we supposed to know what to do from that? That's the tricky part. The dream's the only hint the Falci gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We're a pulse, let's see, right? Enemies are cocooned. It's like saying Ragnarok. So, yeah. Does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to save her? Her weapon is more practical that it because it sort of folds up. It's more slightly more practical. It's still a bit weird, but yeah. Okay. Not quite the giant sword, but but not far off. Let's do it. We're all in this together. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Oh, he hasn't made a rousing speech yet, has he? Uh, yes, we found the word, so you can cross that one off. Jeez, that boy can't stay still. Really. Oh, 
Off we go. Right. And we can play with... Uh, things. Oh, Crystarium. Nice. Uh, we will look at the tutorial for that shortly after I have seen Briere's Bingip card. Oh! <laughs> I had the screen capture on, so that was that lovely shot of... <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah, that is a legitimate bingit for Bray, so congratulations. Yeah, you can have Pro Streamer for that as well. Uh, 50,000 for you. GG. GG's. Right then, let's get back to it. Having become Le C, the members of your party can now develop their powers. Finally, we can level up. Learning new abilities or improving attributes such as strength, magic, and HP. Um, I'm not going to look at the tutorial for this because this, this is pretty self-explanatory. But if you know the uh, sphere grid in FF10, this is a much simpler version. But what you can do is you can level up each roll. So, we've got strength plus 4, HP plus 20, life siphon, recharges one segment upon slaying a target. Nice. And you can see we have CP that you need to spend. So that will cost us 60 to, to get. We have 101 at the moment. But yeah. And you basically just keep going around. That's it. Uh, that's also 60. Oh, hang on. Uh, now, what's... Good commando. HP plus 70. Strength plus 18. Holy shit. Uh, that's done. Alrighty. Now you have Ravager and Medic. Okay. Uh, so that's water magic. Or let's look at Medic. Uh, okay. We'll be seeing a lot of this Crystarium throughout this playthrough as we level people up. But now we can actually start getting... Do jobs, share points, or all get their own? Um, you have to... Yeah, it's just... You've got... So above me here, you can see the total CP. So you have to... Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just all of them use the CP. So now I've just used them all. I can't do the 101 on another roll. If that makes sense. Uh, right. Paradigms. We're going to do Commando. Ravager Medic. And... There is specialization, yeah. Ravager, Ravager, Ravager. Oh, no, I'm never going to use that. I'm never going to use that. Um... Commando, Sentinel, Ravager, I guess. Uh, no, let's do that. Um, do I automatically get the list of clips? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not doing Clip of the Week at the moment, but we'll probably look at bringing that back in the future. So, he should really be a commando because he's got such high strength. So, maybe we'll switch this around to be that. Maybe. Ah, fuck it. No, I'm not going to bother. Commando, Commando, Ravager. And let's do, yeah, let's do no, Commando, Ravager, Ravager. There we go. There we go. Quick recap of the story. Sure. So, basically, we started off, um, we were on a little sort of Dyson Sphere kind of world called Cocoon. Um, and the Sanctum, which is the governing body of Cocoon, initiated something called a purge 
Um, there's a planet below called Pulse, and it's evil, according to the people of Cocoon. There are, basically, there are these entities called Falci from Pulse, which are like godlike deity entities, and they create things called Lucy. They're sort of their human minions. And any time someone comes into contact with Pulse Falci on Cocoon, they purge the entire town, basically. They just get rid of everyone. Um, they fought back, ended up in the Falci, and now they've all been turned into Lucy themselves. Lucy are given something called a focus, which is their mission. They have to complete it, otherwise they turn into monsters. But if you complete it, you turn into crystal and gain eternal life. And Sarah, Lightning's sister and Snow's fiance, was a Lissy, and they found her, and then she turned to Crystal straight away. So she obviously fulfilled what she was supposed to do. Um, so now these guys are on the run, basically. And yeah, that's it. I hope, I hope that makes sense. We can worry about everything else later. Probably not particularly well explained. Doop -ba -doop -boop -doop. So yeah, Pulse bad, but also Sanctum bad for killing innocent people. We've seen the meme of Charlie at the board, yeah. It does have that kind of feel, doesn't it? Stay sharp. I need to I need to remember how I can uh, do the, the the paradigm shift timing right. You know you've got the timing. Oh, that's a five star rating, by the way, for Bingo. Planet life energy nonsense. <laughs> nonsense in a Final Fantasy game. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Balls. Oh, new weapon for her. Sweet. It will probably stick with this party for now. That's a lot of enemies. The annoying thing is you have to set up the paradigms for each combination, each party combination. So it's, yeah, a bit of a faff. Right then. Turn around. No, no, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Thank you. And this, my friends, is a preemptive strike for Bingip. And it means we've got them nearly all staggered. Make sure we get the staggers. Sweet. Actually, I might start with Comrade for Av. So let's do that. Uh, there we go. Sweet. I saw a chest up here. I know it's not a chest. It's a ball, but still. How do I... How do I... What? Ah, there we go. There we go. Alrighty. Boom, 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 boom. 